Hey, this is Captain Noob, and this is Queen Tested, a video series in Fallout 76 where I attempt to solo Scorched Earth using a specific legendary weapon. Today's weapon is going to be a Stalker's Light Machine Gun with 25% faster fire rate and plus 50 damage resistance whilst aiming. This thing is incredibly broken, and it has become one of the most sought after weapons in the game because of how broken it is. It uses that weird rate of fire crippling bug that um, is, you know, not exactly on crippling all the time, but it's there on this thing in spades. It's actually the most powerful weapon I've ever tested in terms of how much I can just drop the actual Queen's health, you know, not relying on sneak attack criticals either. It's insane. It's sought after because people are lazy and they don't want to put good builds together that actually do damage to their enemies. Rather, they just want something that'll just cheese everything, which, you know what, fine, but do that in your own fucking servers. A lot of people that are on public servers on Scorch Earth usually don't like it when people whip these things out and finish it off before they can even get a shot into at least get some sort of legendary drop when it dies. So, yeah, calm down, people. It's not that great. Uh, unfortunately, Bethesda will be fixing this soon, so you can all turn these into script after they've fixed, so at least you've got 40 script after the fact, right? Anyway, so we've got a heavy gunner build going on here. Got blocker, bullet shield for defense, fireproof for defense, tenderized effects for damage on our targets after we shoot them. Also got one gun army for crippling, important to cripple the wing so we can bring it to the ground so we can mag dump its face to get all of that extra damage on. There's some action girl here to bolster dodgy for more. Um, defense, I suppose, and the rest of it is pretty easy. You've got stabilized for accuracy bonuses and armor penetration. Nerd Rage for damage, because we'll be in Nerd Rage, that's sure, because there's no reason why we shouldn't get that 50% from Adrenal Reaction and then an extra 20% from Nerd Rage. It gives us a decent amount of damage. Um, what you see here is not what you get, though. As soon as you start landing shots on, the health bar has just fallen apart, basically, instantly. It's, it's crazy, but we'll get into it. Okay, so we're uh, some amount of time from actually starting this, but I'm going to just start recording here because uh, the mole rats have shown up, which is a good sign because I might not have to deal with them later during the fight and to get it out of the systems real quick. Yes. Very bugged. Very, very bugged at the moment. And we'll see that against the Queen in just about 20 seconds. What's that got? Is it a J? No, just a J. No, thank you. I'm thinking, I mean, mole rats aren't going to be so much of a problem, but it's going to be a nuisance, to be honest, because I'm not relying on stealth to you know, boost my damage. There it is. Alright, five seconds, we might as well start running in. Our adrenaline is at full, so if we get a quick uh, little burst in to the Scorch Beast Queen when she's sort of floating there, we might actually do a decent amount of damage. It depends on how she spawns. She's decided that it's a good idea to just sit there and fly, except to not really fly. That's kind of what Scorch Beasts do sometimes. Uh, you get used to it. Anyways, uh, we'll hit it with a bit of that. And yeah, so far so good. I think I hear mole, mole rats. Basically, I want to get her to, to, to land. Getting her to land will be the ideal thing. She's landed. That's in a mushroom cloud, but I can deal with it. Order. Get out of my way. Alright, we have to get a little bit closer, I'm thinking. It's doing the job. Uh, some mole rats. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah. I saw it. There's a thing. Only thing that can kill me is uh, damage over time. And also not being able to reload. That kind of sucks. Might fall into the fissures if I'm not super uh, careful. I don't like this red filter. I can't actually see anything. Just concentrate fire on the Super Star Destroyer. There we go. We've got her flying around again. We can get out of this red filter zone. And we'll continue. We can draw over here. That'll bring out the maximum adds, which is uh, decent for me. Because uh, I wanted to lure them all out so I can kill them. I'd rather not get staggered or punched by any of these bastards. I've been harassed by Morat this entire time. They don't go away. They don't go away, like, ever. I think something landed behind me. Yes, I think good. Yeah. Bet you were expecting that. I certainly was. And we're done. I think... I think I still beat the Queen faster with my, uh... 
bloodied fire rate um, assault rifle though. Oh my god, this entire time mole rats, it'd be... It, and there's another one! They're like bloody cockroaches, you kill one, two more, bloody shot up in its place. I've noticed how you mostly get combat armor for finishing Squash Earth. How odd. But yeah, there you go. Uh, you probably weren't expecting anything less out of this. It is certainly one of the uh, most broken weapons in the game, probably ever. Like, this is beyond any levels of what TSE could produce, and if you think bloodied explosive is broken, you won't be seeing damage like that for anything. But there you go. It's a bugged-ass weapon, and it did its job pretty well. I didn't manage to pick up the blight there despite everything being diseased, but yeah, I'm just going to pocket me flux, and that's about it for me. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm out of here.